Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Flipping Furniture. My name is Monica and I am the founder and creator of Girasol Vintage. Today's video will be the last video of 2021 and I couldn't be more excited to end the year sharing a custom makeover for a very special client. This is a set of mid-century modern dresser and nightstands that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. They look like someone attempted to redo the tops of all three pieces and unfortunately they went through the very very thin veneer. Now my client was gracious enough to allow me to decide on the design for this makeover and based on our discussions I decided to paint these pieces and to leave some natural elements to it. I'm starting here by removing all the hardware and I have to be very careful not to lose any of the pieces here because as you can see the hardware is freaking awesome and I'm going to be reusing it. As I remove my hardware, I will be adding a little tape pull so I can open and close my doors and drawers for painting. I know I had one of you guys ask me in one of my past videos how to do this and it's actually really simple. You just have to fold the tape with the sticky sides touching and leave a little extra to tape to the inside of the drawer or the doors. After removing the hardware, I started cleaning the nightstands with a degreaser. Now you don't have to rinse this one out, but I still like to rinse my rag a few times just to make sure I have a clean surface to work with. I had to remove the bases from all three pieces in order to refinish them, otherwise it would have been really hard to work on them while still being attached to their bodies. As part of my design, I decided to restore the bases and top drawers for each piece, so I will be sanding them with my surf prep sander using 120 grit sandpaper and moving up to 220 to remove any pigtails left behind. I recently purchased a new shop vacuum and I am able to attach it to my sander to help me with all the dust that comes from sanding. It's a game changer for me because I'm able to sand inside during the winter months. I sanded down the drawers and I was very careful not to sand through the veneer. Now another alternative would be to sand by hand or use a stripper to remove the top coat in a less aggressive way. I used 180 grit sandpaper and took my time to remove the finish because I hate using stripper but at the same time I know I have to remove the top coat and the finish on this die without ruining the veneer. So you just have to be very patient when doing this. I tested out a few different stain colors for this project, but I ended up going with Min Wax and the shade Natural. 
I'm not very good at naming wood types or species so if anyone would like to share what type of wood they think this is just go ahead and put them in the comments down below. Also, if you know any books or resources for learning more about this subject feel free to put them in the comments down below. I really want to create a space here for everyone to learn. I am not perfect. Um, most of the time I am learning as I go and I think we can all benefit from um, other people's knowledge. Here I'm just taping up the sides of my drawers and just making sure that when I'm spraying I'm not going to get any oversprayed on the sides of the drawers. Also, don't forget to scuff sand your pieces. This will help you with paint adhesion. I will be adding two cups of Bear Dynasty paint, which I've already marked with a tape on my measuring cup. And then I will be adding one third of a cup of water. Now don't freak out if your mix is not perfect. You can always add more paint or water if you need to. The paint color and description for all the materials used in this video are going to be in the description box. So don't forget to go there if you want to replicate this look. After mixing the paint and water, I'm going to pour it into my sprayer using a strainer to keep any large particles from clogging my sprayer. These sprayers are very cheap, but if you take good care of them, they will last you a very long time. Alright, and after all the prep work that we just did, well that I did for two days, it's time to time to spray um, this is not sped up this is real time um, it is actually really fast once you've got everything worked out um, if you are spraying for the first time or if you're thinking about spraying don't be afraid give it a try uh, it took me a piece or two to get used to it but I really love spraying I actually prefer spraying over hand brushing that's just my preference um, but, uh, but yeah, give it a try. Don't be afraid.
Now bare paint does not require a top coat, however I did spray two full coats of satin poly to protect my paint job. Now I did not get that on camera because I thought my camera was on while top coating but unfortunately it wasn't so I'm sorry for that. Now the drawer pulls um, were wood and copper but the copper was very tarnished and I wanted to give it a good clean to reveal that rosy color. I like to use Cape Cut metal polishing cloths in combination with Barkeeper's Friend to make them extra shiny. And as you can see, I have a whole assembly line going on here, although it is not necessary because it's really easy to clean with the method um, that I have. Um, all I do is soak them for about 10 minutes in the Barkeeper's Friend and then after that, I start scrubbing with a toothbrush and finally I just go ahead and use my polishing cloths to give it some nice shine. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling everything back together and I did struggle a little bit to put it back together because I messed up the sizes for the screws. Before I show you the final result, I want to take a moment to thank you for the time you spend watching my videos, for all your likes, and most important, all your comments. If you're watching my videos for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you had fun watching this video and I'll see you guys next week for another furniture flip. Bye bye!